it's Candace. Okay, let me take these tapes off because I've moved my camera down even further. Oh gosh, those dogs. Okay, and let me see. Yeah, now I've got like boxing, boxing fist arms. I mean, I've got it really down. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to do some masking and we're going to, you know, keep on with our, our little $2.49 Park Lane kit from Hobby Lot, I'm mean, hello, Joann's. And yes, I even, just so you can see, I did wash this with soap and water and, you know, it is now a little stained, but it's clean, so that's, that's you know, all I care about. I am going to just stick with one ink, so I don't have to be cleaning everything. I have a small sticky pad, notepad, and a, a large notepad. Now, I know that the um, the stores, even the Dollar Tree, have like a, you know, a lar larger one, like the size of a um, index card, but I don't have that. But I did want to show you my my uh, my pads that I cleaned. This is my dry one that I washed off. You know, this one I've only had maybe two, three years. So it's, you know, much cleaner. That's why I use it for the dry. And then um, this one is that nasty black one. But I, I've had this one seven, seven years. I mean, it's on glued on thick foam. And, you know, I've definitely got my money's worth out of it. So, but I'm hoping it can chug on another five years. So then, you know, then I'll really be doing good. But I just, like I said, I just take it to my, my little craft sink I have. And I just, I even, I use hand pump soap. And I put it on here and rub it, rinse it, and then, you know, brush it so it comes down. And then I'll hand soap again and rub it in there. Um, you know, if you have Dawn or degreaser, it might work a little bit better. But, I mean, I know this is clean and as old as this is I'm good and um, so I'm just going to put these aside for now put them back in their holder so hi <laughs> hope y'all are doing good I know I'm putting some lotion on here this one you guys who live in New Zealand are so lucky because this one here my uh, sister-in-law sent to me years ago I mean it's about halfway done now but um, it's from this group I know I've showed it before and I, I mean, it's very crafter friendly because it's not greasy or anything and it dries and yeah, it, it helps. But then I use my, um, who is this? Bath and Body Works. Um, as soon as I wash my hands, I usually put some kind of lotion on it. Uh, and then by the time I get back over here and start to do whatever I'm going to do, but see, this is all, all done now. Um, then I, I'm ready to go. Okay. Mm -mm, smells good. All right. Oops. I can't lose that. I need that. Let me put that over in that little bin thing. So we're going to play with this. This is still another piece of, um, recollections card stock, the 65 pounds. Um, let me I know now that I've moved everything, I feel so feels so weird because it's let me see I still need to be here so let me put my little thingies back you know I just thought I was doing all right so I can't go past these marks now all right so the first thing we're going to do because I want to play I want to do with this one um just because I, I figured it would be a little simple we're going to have our heart oops and we're going to take and put our B in our heart. If I can get it off. And this one, since I've not used it before. Oh, and I have lotion on my hands now. So I want to, you know, just work it in my hands. And you can feel the difference. Um, and just kind of push it on the paper and rub it a little bit. So we're going to put our B inside of our heart. Because she's collecting honey in there. All right. So. You need, this is where you do have to think a little bit. I'm sorry. Sometimes crafting requires brain cells. So it's time to burn a little bit. And I am going to go ahead and just tape my little corners down a little bit. And this is um, painter's tape, frog paint tape. You know, it comes off. It doesn't, you know, pull much off of it. Or if you get the Dollar Tree, I've showed you before, the Dollar Tree scotch tape. Um, it is very low tack, you know, especially if you 
uh, here let me get some of this especially if you take and do it a few times with your fingers um, it just goes on here enough to hold it in place and doesn't tear your papers off okay so you know you do have to think about your layout first so we're, I want our B in here so you know we've got to stamp our B first and then we got to stamp what's going to go behind it so the first thing we do oh well hold on let me get rid of this tulip <laughs> oh let me see I guess I'll stick them over here all right I know I should stick him in his home so I can find it but please all right so let's put our B on our little block and get our ink open well yeah there we go easier said than done so the first thing I'm gonna do and I know I'm not even stamping under I mean on the um my little foam just because I want you to to see not be distracted because I have a lot of other colors going on here so let's see if we have here and our little B and then we're gonna come back I don't know we might put our queen B on top of here and then that will give us room for a word or something down here all right so while I'm here let me just go ahead and mush that a bit okay so I can tell you I'm not gonna like this ink already I do I do like the versifying oh, and it's just okay we're gonna do one with this and then we're gonna do one with versifying I know I know okay I'm going to stamp this one. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead while we still have... Ooh, my light is... Like, interrogate me in my eyeballs. Okay. I can tell you right now, I don't like this. And I'm going to have to go to Versafine. I should have did it in the first place. Because I just... I just like what I get better okay so now we're gonna cut around our B and since we're gonna do the whole you know, put you know the heart over the whole thing you want to cut it as close to the image as you can so that way the heart design comes through on all of them so we got to you know get his little feet <sighs> go around his little booty Give me booty. See if Rusty was here, <laughs> he'd be over here going, hey, hey. Because I'm always like, give me your booty, 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 booty when he goes up the stairs. And then I grab his little back legs. I say, give me your chicken leg, chicken leg, chicken leg. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm always like, give me your chicken butt, chicken butt. And it's mainly to get him to you know, keep moving up the stairs because he likes to just stop and say, hey. And I'm like, I can't walk up here if you're going to stay in the middle of the stairs. Okay. So I think we've got it trimmed as close to the design as we're going to get. All right, so now we're going to stick it on top of here. And then, oops, I need another block. And then we're going to put this one on here. I know it's not really straight, but it's straight enough. Oh, man, I was hoping I was going to get any ink on me, but I already got it. So I look on here, it looks like it's all done. So now I'm just going to stamp it over my B. And give it a few you know pushes and then a lot of you if you find that you're not getting good especially on large stamps stand up and put your weight over the top of it that way you can you get more you know consistent type press on there so there's our little our little thing 
So, and then let me just go ahead. I want to, you know, I do have some more of these, but yeah, they're buried. So we're going to go ahead and stamp our little crown on. Is she the queen bee? And then we're going to come, well, if, let me see, get your craft knife. I know, now you see, like, these big old Popeye arms. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to pull that off and see, here, I didn't rock enough on... And this is where one of those repositional things comes in that you could actually put on there. But I'm not going to worry about it because it's not that big. And if I really do worry about it, then you can take, oh, some marker and just kind of come in. I mean, that is the, the good thing about playing with black ink is that you can always come in and fill in, you know, it kind of look like over there and there now we cover that little white space up okay so and then we'll be able to um, put some other something else on there so that's that's that one now I'm going to do one oops I'm gonna do one with the versifying so you can oops so you can see I know I am a little partial and I I was just like well a lot of people probably don't have it well you might get to see why <laughs> why you need to have it okay so now this time where'd I put him oh, oh right here in front of me okay we're gonna get our our paper and I really think this would work better you know on like my 32 pound paper because it's more of a glossy stuff but I want cardstock I don't want to have to be gluing you know all my little extras on the back so let's go ahead and do the same thing with our versifying and I am going to go ahead and just stamp my little bee off for a minute just in case to get some of the other black out of there All right. Now we're gonna stick our verse. Ooh, don't blow! You're gonna blow your little mask away. Okay. Now we're gonna do our little versifying, and we're gonna stick him. Where's he at? Right here. Okay. So we're gonna stick him right here. And can you already tell? The difference in the stamp okay so now we're gonna be we're gonna be brave well since it's versifying we got to give it a minute <laughs> it's got to you know versifying takes just a hair longer so you know sometimes you just gotta be patient when you're layering and doing things but I want to take and put let me see what color did I like? Well, I just happen to have my little color swatches over here from yesterday. So, let's go with sepia. Even though I did like that sable one. But I'm not digging it back out. It's already, I put it up. So, we're going to use our sepia. Okay, so now it should be time <laughs> to put our, um, our mask back on and now see and I can already tell that the inside 
doesn't have ink on there. And that's because the pad's cockeye. And then, you know, you've got a inexpensive stamp too, but, you know, my, my pad is. But you, when you look at it, you can see the, you know, the, the shimmer, the brightness of the ink. So now we're going to go over here. Let me cover this up before, you know, we make a mess. Give it a minute to transfer from your stamp to your um, paper. And then we'll lift it off. And let's just stamp this off for now, just so, so much doesn't dry on there. While this is drying for a minute, you know, give you something else to do while you're waiting instead of sitting here watching paint dry. But, so we have that. And then we're going to go ahead and stamp the crown again while well, that's drying. I'm going to do it in the um, Versafine. Give our bee a crown. Okay, now we're going to come lift up our our mask and so now this is what we have with this one with the two two color mask but can you see the difference in look at the crown the memento ink versus the versafine that's what makes it so fine is because it literally you know stamps a very clean stamp using you know even fine designs in here because I mean this one has all kinds of little small things in there well that that's that all right so now let's see I know y'all are like I'm more bored with that stamp <laughs> oh well sorry for you no <laughs> okay I, I know I'm being mean all right so now we're still gonna go we're gonna do one of these, but we're gonna we're gonna do do another layer. I know I might just already be jumping ahead, but you know I got bored with it too. So we have this, and actually, if I do like that, and okay, so I'm gonna do long ways like a postcard. And it is much easier to see the green on the on your your plate. I mean your your backing than it is your clear tape. Okay, so I still want to do this. I still want to do that. Um, mm, mm, mm. let's. I want to do this postcard stamp back here. Okay, so that's going to be my my final stamp because that's my you know it's going to cover up the most thing. So we're going to do our little B. Okay, with our little Versafine. Okay, so let me let me look at my little thing. So I'm I have this with the B and the crown. Okay, so I'm going to, well, but if I flip it, I got to, all right, so I'm going this way. <laughs> I got to flip my stamp around the right way. So we're going to put our B on here. Okay, we're going to give it a minute to dry. Then we're going to stamp our um, crown. You know, and I'm probably going to end up picking up some ink on my fingers because I didn't stamp it off but I'll just use a little paper towel to be gentle okay so we're gonna do our little B crown okay and then I want to I'm gonna make a mask of my little B thing now
Okay, and you know I want to trim around it fairly close so we can um, get a little behind it. Now I am going to back off. I'm not going to do it as close as I did the other bee just because you know the background is a little... Oh, I'm not doing the heart though. I don't know. Let me see. I wasn't going to do the heart, so we're doing this. We're doing something dif different. My brain's going another way. I know. But the first one was, you know, easy. Had to get something. I mean, this is really cute using two colors of ink, you know, for a journal card that you can add other. Whoops. Pay attention before I chop off my crown. All right. Like I said, the most important part is to make sure you place your stamp closest to where you're, you know, <laughs> that stuff is. Top of the sticky on your, on your sticky pad. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm going to use, I want to use this coffee. And I'm going to go this way just so I can see what I'm doing. I mean, I probably don't have to do that much to it because, ooh, I just got on my fingers. Because it is a new pad, not that old. And I'm getting it all over my fingers. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. And we're going to... Put this on now. I'm going to stand up so I can get all my weight on it. So I can, you know, without moving the stamp, just kind of walk around it. Hold it. Walk and hold. Hold and walk. Kind of like making Chinese without any Chinese food. <laughs> so we have that. Now, let me get... Where's my big... There he is. While we're right here, I want to stamp. Where's the top? Some, there's my sticky note top. Okay, so I want to get over here. And I'm going to make me a mask with this. I know I'm getting a little, a little ahead of the game, but you know, I got to can't just be plain Jane. Okay, so we're gonna, which means I gotta clear a Okay, so we put this on here. We want to go ahead and go around here. And I think I just want to go, I know I got to, I should have stamped it a little, you know, with a little more ink so I could see a little bit more of the words to trim around. But I was trying to cheat. You know, sometimes cheating doesn't pay. Oops. Got to cover up the words. Okay, so now, hold on. Let me just make sure I stamp off any ink that's on there. So now I have, well, it's actually chicken wire. I thought I had a honeycomb over here, but, oh, it's been sitting on here just a little too long. So let me let it breathe, but I'm going to use chicken wire stamp. And I'm trying, do I want to go down here, which will leave me there and there. Okay, I know, I just got to talk to myself. Okay, so we used that. Now let's use our sepia. Just, you know, we're bringing in another color. 
you know, I just wanted to stain my, uh, uh-oh, I didn't put any, hold on. I'm probably going to be going off the edge here, so <laughs> I need some, some stamping paper, some background. So let's, well, let's take off my, so we're going to stamp that on there. We're going to see what we got. Am I in frame? Yeah. Okay, so we have that. I need to, well, I need this off of here there. Okay, so I have that. And then, I know just because I know I'm not going to be using this in a minute. Let me just go ahead and stamp. I'm going to have to wash this. This is just a little, a little too much. A little too dirty for me. Okay, and then, hold on, let me grab. I know this has turned into not so simple one-on-one, -on -one, but, you know. I'm looking at my stencils over here. All right, because I definitely have to have some beehive. Even though I got chicken wire, I need some beehive. So we're going to... Use our little stamp, I mean our stencil, now, oh, let me cover this up before I, sure enough, stick my fingers in there, and then we're just going to take our Distress Ink and go along there, and then I think I want, I know, I don't even know what's underneath there, but you know, that's that's the fun of it. Sometimes you just don't know. So let me just tear this off. And we're going to come over here. Oops. Hold on to what's underneath there because nothing's holding it now. Let me put a little more tape so it can kind of hold it down. And then we're just going to kind of go around here. Not so, so heavy. And just you know lightly so we have a different shade going around the corner all right so now we're gonna pull all of our stuff off and see see what what we've made we've either made something pretty or we've made something not so pretty <laughs> oh I'm gonna take our little bee off and our little crown and see we have I don't have to get that close. But we have our little B on there. Instead of fussy cutting and putting on there, we have our B down there, our crown. Then we put our little postcard around there. And then we took our some chicken wire and some honeycomb and just went around there. So now let's go ahead and just ink around and, you know, kind of just... Do, throw a little distress in there so it's not so white. And that is our little, I guess this would be a, what is that? A mixed media-ish thing. We have stamps and stencils. <laughs> okay, we use two things. But, hey, but isn't that pretty? I mean, it's all one-dimensional. It's flat, but yet it's, it's masked. So, am I losing anybody? Okay, so let's see what else do we have. All right, so now I want, I have these things. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna go a little bigger. So I have this sweet thing that I bought in 2019. I love this, um, these people. Her name is Ellen, oh, Jericho maybe. I love her crazy little field mice stuff. I know I've got a, I got a field mice mess going on over here. <laughs> okay, so let me just, and then like I said, I, when I have masks that I, I, that I do for things, I just put them in their little holder. So we're gonna do this one now. Oops, all my stuff. Now, if you've noticed, it's much bigger than my post-it note. So this is where a larger one would come in place. And if you don't want to waste your money on a, on your post-it note, if you have some double stick tape, double sided tape, 
not the you know the real rough one but the one that you you know you do the like that if you just do it on the back of one and then take your finger and do like that so it's you know takes a lot of the tack off there so you can put it on take it off because you don't want it to pull your paper off but I'm going to I know I've never used this stamp I buy them when I see these silly little mices I just get them because they're so stinking cute I'm sorry yeah I know that's why I can't be left alone in a store <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to put these two together, and we're going to get some masking tape, just because I can stamp over it and it'll hold the, the ink, and we're just going to piece them together, and yes, this is where if you go ahead and spend your money and get the, the wide stuff, you don't have to, but I'm just showing you how to make a mask if you don't have a wide post-it note. So, so we just made a wide one. And let me just trim this off just so I can start with some flat. All right, so now I'm going to pull in. I know, I'm going to pull in my thing. I just don't, I feel naked. I'm sorry, this is just going to be bright and colorful. But, yo. Okay, so now I want to stamp this on here because I'm going to make a mask. So I'm just going to turn it at, well, I was going to say I'm just going to turn it at an angle, but I want as much, you know, of the stickum that I can get. So I think this will be good for my stickum. So I'm going to stamp it like that. And where's my, my versifying? Oops. And I need, I need to borrow this. I need a big pla uh, stamper. I know this is filthy dirty. I need to wash them. But, well, this is what, when I always say, let me put them underneath my blocks to dry. I have two of these with, you know, stamps that I use a lot on. I just leave them on there and they're on the side. And that's what I set on top of my stuff, you know, to help flatten my, my thing out. Oh, well, that just picked up just fine. Okay, so, you know, it is versifying, but I'm just going to have to risk getting ink all over me. Am I in frame? Yes, I am. Okay. Because i got to make sure. You know, and I know this is not red rubber, but it's still a rubber stamp. And it these, these stamps just, oh my gosh, they stamp so pretty. They pick up all this detail. Plus, when you use the VersaFine, you know. Choo -choo, look at that little mouse coming out. Okay, sorry. Oh, all right. Oh, and I'm just making a stinking... Okay, I'm making a mask, but I'm going to put it on here first. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me put it on here. because My background first. I just got carried away with this, with my little mouse. I know, I'm sorry, y'all. But he's laying in a sunflower. Oh, he's so cute. All right, we'll just give it another little push let me stand up just to put all you know put my weight on it so I can get a better stamp but see that's my first stamp with this thing now let me hurry up and put it on here before I run my mouth too much so I can get make a mask okay so see that's faint enough to where I can cut around it all right so and I am gonna Cut this off and gonna put it back on my here so I can use it for another mask. I mean they don't go back on there together, but you know, I got it. But oh, isn't he just the cutest little thing? You know, and then after this dries, you want to go back with your markers, you can color in there. It does really well after you know you gotta let it set for you know until it dries, but you can go back and color it with there. But oh, He's so cute. Okay, so now I'm just going to go trim around here. I know it's going to take a little while. So, let's see, John's outside attempting to weed eat. The weed eater is giving him a hard time. You know, you must maintain <laughs> and winterize 
and store your tools properly. Oh, in order for your stuff to work. You know, you can't just use it, hang it up. Well, I say use it and abuse it because he's rough on all the stuff. And, uh, but yeah, and so he just, and then, you know, he came in when he went, came to have his little, his brunch, which is, well, lunch, which is a, you know, a shake. Um, he's like, man, that weed eater is so heavy. I'm like, oh, it's all the additives they're putting in the fuel. But, and, you know, and then I'm like, I said, John, I said, it's just because you've lost so much weight, you know? I mean, everything feels heavier because, you know, you've lost a lot of weight. But, you know, I don't, I don't harp or go on on it. But, I mean, you know, that is why things are heavier because you're not as big as you used to be. You don't have no muscles. Just that mouth muscle keeps moving. <laughs> and that finger, the finger that can push a button and take your whole Wi-Fi down in your house remotely. Oh, that goofball. And he's like, well, I didn't have my glasses on. I couldn't see. I'm like, well, my God, that's why you got glasses. You're supposed to wear them. Well, I'm like, there's no welling about it. <laughs> wear your stinking glasses so you can see. Oh. Because, I mean, he needs his for, for both. Up close and far away. <laughs> and he hates it. He still is in denial. But I'm sorry. You passed that test twice and failed it. Well, you took the test twice and failed it. You need them. Wear them. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, he drives me nuts with those glasses. You know, and I hate, like, when we go somewhere, um, you know, I let him drive. Well, you know, I really don't like him to drive because... Sometimes he'll put his stupid glasses on his head and and then I, I'm looking at him and he's got the one eye squinted and he's driving with one eye. I'm like, John, he's like, well, I can see better this way. I'm like, oh, dear Lord. So, yeah. Were you wearing your glasses that your driver's license says you must wear? Yes, I was, but they weren't on my face. They were up on my head, but technically I was wearing them so I can just, you know, See him now with his plea when they find his glasses stuck on his head after we've crashed on the side of the road. I was I was technically wearing them. You know, it doesn't specify that it must be, you know, on your face, on your eyes. <laughs> Cuz they're, you know, they're not for for actual, you know, use and to see, they're for decoration. They're to make me look cool. Whatever. You dummy. <laughs> He's like, well, maybe I'll go get contacts. I'm like, John, you don't have the patience for contacts. I'm like, I mean, he doesn't. He It just would not work. And uh, he's like, yeah, you're right. I'm like, I know I am. I mean, sometimes you just need to admit. <laughs> I, I've known you too long, and I know what I'm talking about. I know. I don't have anything else to talk about because now I gotta think. I got. I'm thinking because I'm getting towards the end. Whoops. All right. And so see, you know how long it takes to do this mask. This is one that I would put and keep inside the um the little stamping thing with it because it just took entirely too long to make. <laughs> so now that we have our mask done, let me make sure I'm in there. Yes, I'm kind of liking this phone right there. I can look up and see. But anyway. So we're going to put him on here, and I have these little um, flowers that I wanted to put behind there, like this one, and maybe that one, or do I want it like that? Okay, so, I don't know. But this is a you know an, a much easier stamp than you know the other one. The other one's a little more a little more work involved. Where's my oh here he is. Okay. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> 
you know, I'm always trying to do that. So if I have that one like this, I still want some of this green coming from down here so I can move that. Or if I do it like this and like that. Okay, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going this route with it. All right, but I am going to just stamp it in black because I do think I want to come back and, and color it. Let me just make sure. Okay, it all looks wet back there. Let me stand up to get a good press. Okay, so we have that. Now I want like this down here. So let me ink my leaf in the bottom of the stem because I'm wanting that. And let me tell you. Just in case I have ink on my thing, my flower, let me just put that plastic behind there so I don't get a shadow, a ghost. Oopsie, I got a little bit there because I didn't cover it, but that little bit's going to be okay. I'm all right with it. It's all my fault. Everything else is my fault, so, you know, we're just going to take, take, take blame for that one. Okay, all right, so that's that one, and then let's come back with this one, this long one. Let me just smoosh it a little bit. We smoosh it real good. All right, and then I want to come in with this one. Like, I don't know. Well, yeah, like that. And then, no, up here, because I want to put that dragonfly there. Okay. So, sometimes you just got to talk to yourself. You, you know, yes, I know. I make fun of John talking to himself at his computer. But, you know, I don't sit here and tell this thing that I got something for you. <laughs> I'm going to knock you out. Right. You see so funny. Okay. So, that looks like I've got enough ink on there. So... Let's just stamp them down. Let me stand up just to get a little more. Okay, there's that one. And now, And, you know, a lot of times I don't clean them like I do those other ones. Just because these, I I usually always use black ink. So I know that's really no big, ex you know, excuse. But I know if I just wipe them good, um, even just pat them with the little paper towel, there's nothing left on it. So that's, that's clean enough for me. <laughs> oh. And then... I don't know. I just I might have I just might have too much going on on there. So we'll, we'll stick st walk away from that. All right. So let me close this before I get in there. So now we're going to take our little mask off, and we have our little mouse sleeping. Can you see? Yeah, our little mouse sleeping in the in the sunflower in a little wild flower field, which you know we'll come back um, after it sets and dries and kind of color in there but um, let's just we'll go around it real quick with some golly I got a mess we'll just go around it while it's drying and 
just to kind of, you know, pull it in. And like I said, after it dries, we'll come back with some, um, some markers and kind of colored in. And I know I probably should have, could have, but I'd like to put a little label down here. And then we might put an actual butterfly washi or something up there. I don't know. But that's, oops, I'm so used to being up here to show you. I hope I was in frame. But there's that one. I mean, it's just, you know, deciding what you want your main thing and to put, you know, have what you want behind there and to make your mask. And like I said, I, I will be keeping this mask with, with my, um, here. <laughs> And I just stick it on top of it. And then when I put my stamp in there, I just put it in here. Usually I'll put the um, the mask in the back so I know that I have one. And um, that way I don't have to cut it out again until it gets too nasty or doesn't have any more stick -em to it. And because, uh, you know, it does take a little bit of time to, make, to cut your little mask. So let's see. I have 10 minutes left. All right. So that's that one. Let me put him aside somewhere. All right. What, what, what? Let me see if I have another little set over here. I know. I should have been a little more prepared. Um, let's see if I can get this done in 10 minutes. So this is some big thistles. And it came with um, dies and the stamps. Is this even going to? Yeah. I can fit on here. So we're going to do this. And somewhere. Oh, dear Lord. Where do I, I know I've got so much stuff buried over here again. Because I was going to stamp one thing and then I was like, ah, let me do another thing. Well, then, you know, another thing turned to. Ooh. Oh, come on. Did I put there? It is. All right. So I know you could just cut this out, fussy cut it, and put on there so that it can give you some layers, but. I'm going to do make a, a stamp mask just you know just to give you some more gist of you know of it. So this don't know. Can't tell you. No info. No info on here. So but we are going to Nope, not going to fit, so we'll have to make another little stamp. So let's get another card, put it on here, and make sure I'm in, in frame. Let me just put a little tape on here so it'll hold it down so it doesn't move. And then I want to stamp this on here. Okay, so we're going to stamp this on here, which I know this is kind of a bad example, but in case you don't want to layer and you're trying to, you just want to stamp. I mean, you know, sometimes you just want to stamp and you don't want a fussy cut. So we're going to put our, our label on here. Give it a minute. So there's that. Now where's my top? You know, I don't know if I'm really going to need this one. Actually, I probably can get away with this little one. And then we'll just, ew, definitely got ink everywhere. And I'm just going to cut on the side because I want to put something poking out on the side. And I know I don't need to go any further than there. And then let me just come and get this flower cut. Oops, I know I'm really bad about pulling stuff to me. Okay, so 
we're going to sit this on here. Then, I'm looking at this little baby one coming out of here. Where do I even know? Okay, so let me take this one off of here. I know. We got a little baby pineapple with thistle coming out of here. And then I need to take a little bit of them to cover it up. And I know this is probably too tedious for some of y'all, but it's really pretty when you get it done. And like I said, you know, you have all these stamps laying around. And why not use them and layer them and and just get something different out of them? You know, sometimes you just get tired of seeing just a plain stamped thing and you want a little bit more. Well, I know I do. I always want more. <laughs> that's my problem. See, that's why I make those big old stinking journals. Because I can't, I can't just have a little bit. Okay, so we're covering him up. Now we're going to take this one off oh, I got a I got a bunch and like I said I might just take these and bring them to the sink and wash them because I have so many of them and it's like well how and if any of you wonder you know well don't they go down the drain no I have a stainless steel colander I set it down there I put them in there and then I wash them and rinse them and then I take them out pat them on my little um, towel <laughs> so and the reason why I use the little colander is because, yeah, I've lost one down the drain before. So, oh, this one is stuck to the uh, to the backing. Okay, so let me just smoosh it a little bit. And then we're going to put him on here. And then I'm going to bring the ink pad to it because it's so much bigger. And then we're gonna go and put our thistle down right there. That's where it landed. All right, so now let me just stand over it to give it a little more. Good grief, look at these big old hands, rock 'em, sock 'ems. Yeah, I don't like filming this close. <laughs> oh, I just thought T Rex hands were bad. Yeah, Rock'em Sock'em's worse. Okay, so now we're going to peel off our maskings and see what we have. So we have that. Now that would be a cute little card, like if you made made one and then you wanted to make a couple of copies and then just, you know, if you didn't want to stamp them all, but I mean... You know, you just put your little line up and stamp, 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 do your little symbol line, stamp, stamp, stamp. I know that's what it says, stamp, stamp, stamp. <laughs> and then like here, I just want to go ahead and take my marker. And we'll just go ahead and color our little, pull our little leaves just a little closer to our thing. And, I mean, see, isn't that just, that's just pretty. And it's just using three different, your stamps, and instead of fussy cutting around a label, you just went ahead and put your label down there. And, I mean, it still, it looks dimensional. And then it's just as pretty black and white. Or you can, well, you know, take some of your little markers and go in there, um, your little watercolor or distress markers. But, you know, I would let this dry. It doesn't even say how long. Let me look on here. It just says, you know, perfect for using watercolors to colored stamped images. Um, 
I, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. I know you let them dry while you're doing something else. So that's our little, our little stamp play um, with just, you know, some basic masking. Oh, here they are. And using, oh, let me, I know. Let's see if we can get all this out. I'm just going to leave my, I got a mess to clean up, but I'm going to do it as soon as I'm done. So we have this postcard one that we made. I'm trying to see if I could be in frame. We have this um, two, two ink color. We have this one. And then we have this that I showed you the difference between Memento ink and VersaFine ink, which, like I said, VersaFine definitely gives you a more clear image when you stamp, even on the cheap $2.50 set set. Um, you just get a clear stamp image and I guess if I had to pick a favorite for black it would be black versifying and then I do like the archival inks because they you know they do give you some clear images and then we have this little mouse that was you know playing in the um, in the sunflower field and then this one that we just did I know I'm trying to get them all on there so you can see. All right, and then this one where we, you know, took and put our, layered our stamps on here, our masked our stamps here, used this um, a stamp over here with our masking on this one, and then stencil with our little mask around it, and then you know just all of our little masks that we made, which I've put some of the other ones up, but um, oh, in here, so you know that's that's all. Ma the stamp masking is I mean it's just you know taking a minute thinking what you want how you want to layer it up and and just going for it I mean it's just stamp ink and some some paper all right guys I hope you enjoyed this um get your stamps out give it a try and I will see y'all in the next video thanks for your love thanks for your sports um support <laughs> lots of love lots of hugs and I will see y'all next time bye guys